13 year old girls are supposed to be thinking about school and playing with their friends. But a girl we'll call Sana to protect her identity is in the fight of her life. She's taking on five police officers she says illegally imprisoned her and gang raped her for 15 days. This is where Sana says she was held captive and raped. An interrogation room at a police station an hour outside of Islamabad. Police say they brought Sana here to question her about the murder of her uncle, a crime police now admit she had nothing to do with. So how often does it happen? Very, very often. Human rights activist Tahira Abdullah says rape is one of the most common crimes against women in Pakistan. But you won't find accurate statistics, she says, since few victims speak out. Because if you accept the fact that you have been sexually abused and violated and have survived to tell the tale, it brings a shame and a stigma and a dishonor upon the family. Sana says a female police officer urged her to say something. In a raw moment of honesty, she told us why she did what few Pakistani women dare. I was, I was really shocked that uh, this, this, such like offenses are uh, happening even in my local area. Sana's lawyer says results of a medical exam show her client was raped. But police waited weeks before investigating their own men. Only two suspects are in custody. Police say three are missing. Their lawyers say they're all innocent. So he says that uh, he's innocent, absolutely. And he seems to be innocent, I tell you. These days, Sana spends most of her time inside her two room house. She says taunts and death threats have forced her to drop out of school. <laughs> But several times a week, she uses the little money she has and travels one hour to attend her court hearings. Rarely do women from poor families win cases in Pakistan against police officers. But Sana isn't backing down. And that's something Sana says she refuses to live with. Reza Sayas, CNN, Texilla.